Hey everyone, welcome back to Low Nose. Now in this video, I'm going to help you understand how the high pass and low pass filters can help you improve your voice in your audio or video projects. Help your voice stand out and cut through any kind of competing elements that may be in your project. Up next. All right, so today I'm working on Pro Tools, and if you're not familiar with Pro Tools, that's just fine. The mechanics of EQing audio is all the same no matter what interface you're on. It's just the interface looks different. Okay, so this is a car commercial for a client uh, that I'm doing, and right now, I'll just show you, I'll give you the, the audio in itself. Mobile Mike here to tell you about the spring clearance event going on at Hollywood Chrysler Jeep. The Z All right, so that's just the voice alone. Um, uh, it's a good, nice, clean sound, but it's going to have to compete with some audio. So let me explain to you what we mean by competing. Mobile Mike here to tell you about the spring clearance event. All right, so once we play the music, the voice gets lost. What we have to do is EQ the audio so the, the audio can compete with the music, and the goal is to have it stand on top of the music. Uh, now, this, this can be used for any kind of... Uh, uh, situation you have, maybe if you're doing like game videos or something, and you've got like all you know background noise, and you want your you want your voice to stand above it. You know you don't want to just kind of play with the the, the volume meters. You know just lowering your lowering everything down. You still want to keep some dynamic uh, pump. You know from whatever I guess whatever's happening in your video, and you want your voice to still stand out. So that's where EQ come comes in. So you're not uh, dropping levels on other elements within your project too far down where it kind of loses its ump over its presence itself. Okay, so Mobile Mike here to tell you about the spring clearance. Okay, so first first thing first before we get into the uh, the EQ and part, I want to give you a quick little trick. It's called doubling up the track. Okay, if you can see right here, here is the initial voice. Mobile Mike here to tell you. And then all I did was just double the audio right below it. You can copy and paste and just drag it underneath. And then it kind of enhances it a little bit. So let me give you a little difference. Mobile mic here to tell That's you one. about this. And then as soon as we double it, mobile mic here to tell you. You can hear all of a sudden the the, the voice has just gotten a, a lot more in your face. Now, with the music now, by itself. Mobile mic here to tell. You, oops, sorry. Mobile mic here to. It's struggling. Let's let's double it up. Mobile mic here to tell you. Okay, we're doing good. Um, it's still sounding a little muddy. You know, we, we still can we still can do a little more to to bring it up above the audio. Mobile mic here to tell you about the spring. So definitely know. Okay, so first let me introduce to you the theories or the concepts of a uh, of high of a high pass filter. Right now on the oops, I'm sorry, that's a low pass. Where are you, Mister High Pass? No, that's a is that a low pass too? No, no. Oh, I put low passes on the audio. That's right. I'll, I'll, I'll get to that part in the future. Okay, so let's go. And let's right now for this example, I will add a one band high pass. Now, as far as the high pass, cons high pass, consider this high pass means you will let all the high frequencies pass through and any and all the low all, all the low frequencies will not pass. You shall not pass. Sorry. So all the high frequencies pass through, and all the low pass frequencies do not go uh, do not go through your signal. Uh, this can be good for any kind of rumbling noise, or actually, you know, here we go. Like a lot of times, you'll see like microphones or like re recorders. You'll actually see they'll have like a, a low cut or like a high pass filter. High high pass, low cut. It's both it's both the same thing. High pass means you know it lets all the high signals go through. Low cut means there's no low, it cuts all the low, so it's, it's, it's the same thing. High pass, high pass, low cut is the same. Low pass, high cut is the same. Because of what it is. Okay, okay. All right, so when you, when you do a high pass filter, you're removing all the low end from the sound. The, the, all the signals that the human voice is not, um, does not bring out. So a lot of times when you're EQing, all that low end noise can get a little muddy, like the background noise, the computer noise, the, uh, the, the, the humming within the environment. That can muddy up your mix uh, or your dialogue or whatever you're trying to do. So we're, we add a little high pass to sound. So here it is. Uh, right now, the high pass is sected to, oh man, 1000. Okay, so this is going to sound like a little tinny. Mobile mic here to tell you about the spring clearance of Okay, it sounds really really sharp. See, I'm I'm just going to play it right right on top of the music and you're going to hear it punch right through the music, but it's going to sound a little tinny. Mobile mic here to tell you about 
about to spring. So it's 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 cutting through the music, but it's so tinny, it's it's kind of thin. Mobile Mike here to tell you about the spring clearance event. Yeah, it's the um the the frequency is there to to compete with the music, but you know because we stripped it so much of a, of the low end, it's not, it's lost a, a lot of body. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play with the frequency, okay? And let's go to normally when uh, you go to like you know a device like this, they normally cut off maybe like eighty hertz. Okay, so we'll we'll do like eighty hertz right here. All right, this for example. And let's see how this sounds. Mobile Mike here to tell you about the spring clearance event okay. going on at Hollywood Chrysler Jeep. See what happens there? Zeros are here. Hollywood Chrysler Jeep has zero down. You see what's going on here? Zero first payment, zero security, and zero there goes your low end. for maintenance. And now we're taking That's out the right, low end. Now it's talking about high. For only two seventy nine, sign and drive. Yes, that's two. All right, so so, so th that's what the high pass does. The high pass takes out the low signals uh, from from your audio. Okay, and within this example, it's uh, our dialogue. All right, so that's that. All right, so so let me go back to my mix. Uh, I already have my EQ set up. I'll leave that there. My EQs, um, I have EQ applied to my audio, and I'll show you later why. All right, so so let's 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 go ahead. Let's uh, let's bring both of our tracks uh, back alive. Mobile Mike here to tell you about the spring clearance event going on at Hollywood. Chrysler All right, now <laughs> let's add the EQ. Now this is my seven band EQ. Uh, I add I add a little boost here in a uh, high mid uh, frequency, so it can add a little presence to the voice. Mobile Mike here to tell you about the spring. But of course, I did my high pass, free, uh, high pass right here. Whoops, let me see. right here. How do? Oh, here we go. Off. You see? Mobile Mike here to tell you now about turn the it spring on. clearance event going on at Hollywood Chrysler Jeep. The zeros are here. Hollywood Chrysler Jeep has zero down, zero first payment, zero security, and zero cost for maintenance. That's right, four zeros on a Jeep Cherokee Latitude for only two seventy nine. dollars sign and drive. Yes. Okay, so. Mobile Mike here to tell you about the spring clear. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but, but, but there's a, a difference there. The, 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 the cutting off the low end is there. The, the audio is uh, sounding a little clearer, but most of all, you really hear it when, it start, when it's playing on top of the music. That's when you know the high pass is doing its job. Mobile mic here to tell you about- Okay, so now that I've added a little high pass to my audio, now let's add a little compression to it as well. Mobile mic here to tell you about the spring clearance event going on at Hollywood Chrysler Jeep. The zeros are here. Hollywood Chrysler Jeep has zero down, zero first payment, zero security, and zero- All right, now just remember, when you use these uh, effects, EQ or compression, it shouldn't be a dramatic effect. It should be only be so, it's got to be only so slightly. You, you do things such to kind of, so things can just kind of meld and weave together so they can uh, work together in, in harmony. You don't want exaggerated EQing or, or compression because it'll just make your sound uh, overly muddy or overly, or just unbearable. Okay. Mobile Mike here to tell you right, so about nice. the spring clearance nice, event going on at Hollywood Chrysler Jeep. The zeros are here. Hollywood Chrysler Jeep. Okay, all right. So now, now that we have that, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you another a trick. You can, actually, you, can add, you can use the high pass, low pass on the audio. Sometimes, this, on this audio in particular, I've got my, I have my audio, I have my dialogue sounding Mobile Mike the way I want. Mobile mic here to tell you about this. My audio sounds nice, full, and clean, uh, clear, but it is now, it's competing with the music. Mobile mic here to tell you about the spring clear. Why is that? Well, the music in itself is, is, is operating on a high frequency. It's, it's all high, it's mostly high signals. So what I have to do here to make it, to have it compete or have my audio uh, compete or step be on top of the uh, of the music is I have to take out the high signals from the from the audio, from I'm sorry from the music bed. So here's my high pass filter. I'm sorry, my low pass filter. This is low pass right here. That's your high pass. This is your low pass. 
Okay. Mobile mic. And what I do is I remove the high signals from the audio uh, and where it's just all low end. And you can take a listen. It's actually going to sound like, um, it, in the beginning, it's going to sound like you're actually outside and the music is inside. Kind of has that effect. And that was the effect I was going to. I was going for. And then eventually, when it leads up, I, I bring it back in. But I still have a... I still have a low pass on it just so I can bring it, bring the signal low enough, uh, take off uh, some high, take off some high ends from the music that's just enough so my audio is sounding good or, or, or the dialogue is not being lost within the music. Okay, there you go. Very simple. Use the high pass filter on your voice to remove any, any kind of unwanted low end noise from your audio track. That would include uh, rumbling sounds, maybe an AC sound, or maybe just, just sort of um, mu muddiness that is just that just somehow that just somehow entered your signal, and you're just kind of wondering, man, like my my audio just sounds muffled. It's not really punching through. It's not clear. Um, th that's where you want to engage the high pass filter. Okay, the low end you can use the I'm sorry you can use a low pass to to soften down uh, maybe certain music beds or background if you feel it is competing with your dialogue voice. Take out the high ends, or just leave it a low end and, and play with that until you you feel comfortable with your voice standing out. And also you can use a little, uh, you also do a little trick too. You can double up your voice. You can stack them, on top of, stack them on top of each other or use everything in conjunction just to make your voice sound good. There's a lot of, tr lot of tricks you wanna do, uh, but mainly uh, what you wanna do, I'm sorry, there's a lot of little tricks you can do, but you don't want to stack a lot of little tricks on top of each other because then you you'll just you'll be EQing on top of EQing and you'll you'll never really know exactly what you're affecting because you have something and you're EQing something and then you do something else and then you're EQing. It's like you you want to stay as simple as possible for the EQ. Yes, there is a chain that you want to go with, um, but what you you don't want to EQ on top of EQing on top of EQing. You you just want to stay with that. Um, be simple with um, with the way you're editing or mixing your voices. Um, all right, so let's take one final one final listen. Everything engaged. Okay, and here I have a um, have an ultra maximizer, and that that just kind of levels out everything uh, to, um, in comparison to each other. So here we go. Mobile Mike here to tell you about the spring clearance event going on at Hollywood Chrysler Jeep. The zeros are here. Hollywood Chrysler Jeep has zero down, zero first payment, zero security, and zero cost for maintenance. That's right, four zeros on a Jeep Cherokee Latitude for only $279 sign and drive. Yes, that's $279 only at Hollywood Chrysler Jeep. Hollywood Chrysler Jeep on 441 and Sheridan Street, where the customer always wins. All right, guys, if you felt this video helped you out, go please leave a like. I'm always making videos like this, so go ahead, subscribe, so you don't miss more videos uh, like this. Join the sort of community. Low nose, well, sort of, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I'm there, join up, say hi, let's, let's have a discussion. Um, and also, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below, <laughs> leave, a comment in, uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'll, I, I love talking with you guys, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, if there's anything you felt that wasn't explained, let me know, I'll try to explain to you or make another video about something else. I'm gonna do some more videos about EQing compression and just kind of improving the overall sound. But I wanted to hit this one right now because I thought it was really a, a nice, really quick and easy way to, to clean up uh, the, the, the sound of your audio file. All right, guys, well, that's it. Go ahead, check out my channel for, uh, for some other videos. And until next, guy, until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.